Success, many will love you for it. The majority will hate you. Because your success makes them feel insufficient in their current endeavor. Reminds them of where they could have done it, but they came up short and how they didn't revisit it. Where they went at it and failed, and failure is what stood. They never revisited it again. I said, God, why, why is this happening to me? I'm just trying to take care of my children and my mother. I'm not trying to steal or rob from anybody. Why did this have to happen to me? Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside. And something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. What I'm saying is the character of who you are. It's not the title that makes you. It's not the success that makes you. The character defines the success, defines the fame, and it starts right there. Championships aren't won in the theater or the arena. They're won in the thousands of hours in the training room, in the labs, in the 5 a.m. runs, when it's raining, when everyone else is sleeping. That's when it's won. That's when it's tough to have faith then. And that's when you need to call on your faith then. They said faith is the oil that, that takes the friction out of living. You've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back and I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration. Every transformation always gets worse before it gets better. Confucius said, uh, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. There's a, a redemptive power that making a choice has, you know, rather than feeling like you're at a effect to all the things that are happening. Make a choice, like you just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. And then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. Spartans, what is your profession? <laughs> We all fall down in life, guys. The question is, who gets back up? All of you chumps are gonna bow when I whoop him. All of you, I know you got him. I know you got him, Dick. But the man's in trouble. I'm gonna show you how great I am. You ain't gonna die at the end of pain and success. You're not gonna die because you're feeling a little pain. My why is every single day when I wake up, every minute of the day, every hour of the day, I have an opportunity. Somebody who quit, somebody who gave up, somebody who stopped in life. I have the power at my nickname, the refresher. I have the power as the refresher to make you believe again, to make you get up when you got up three times and you say, I'm not getting up no more. That's my why. Your why is gonna push you when you can't push yourself. When you want to quit and give up, your why is going to give you that edge you need, that advantage you need, that, that lift that you need to get to the next level. Your why! Do the job right or don't do it at all. That's the same person who has his hand raised on the podium one day. It's not easy. If, if it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. You don't beg average people to be phenomenal. You don't beg good people to be phenomenal. You just are phenomenal and you will attract phenomenal. That's called courage. Now that's the stuff leaders should be made of. Champions keep going when they don't have anything left in their tank. That if you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it, if all that your dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, 
And if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, and if you simply go after that thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope and confidence, and stern pertinacity, if neither cold poverty, famish or thaw, sickness or pain of body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want, if dogged and grim, you besiege and beset it, with the help of God you'll get it. 